Declarative automations are ideal in a lot of scenarios, but there may be times when Apex is actually preferable due to its flexibility and rich debug capabilities. High performance batch processing is one example of this, and there are a few use cases for it. Anytime you need to define or evaluate complex logical expressions or formulas. If you need to do complex list processing that involves large numbers of records in nested loops. Anytime you have to perform an operation that requires map-like or set-like functionality, since flow does not currently support the map data type. And anytime you need to use transaction save points, since those are also not currently supported in flow. For use cases like this, Apex triggers are going to be the best approach. But when your use cases aren't as complex, flow might actually be a good choice for batch processing, and there are a couple considerations to keep in mind. First, scheduled flows can currently do batch operations on up to 250,000 records per day. So they might be a good choice for data volumes that are under that limit. Also, scheduled paths and record-triggered flows support configurable batch sizes. This can be useful for scenarios like external callouts that can't support the default batch limit of 200. If you're interested in learning more about this topic and other related topics, make sure to check out our Architect's Guide to Record-Triggered Automations. You can find it on the Salesforce Architect's website, and I added the link below as well. So make sure to check that out, and I am looking forward to seeing you next time.